today's video, I'm going to be talking about transforming your car into a car that is ready to be lived in, or at least going on a long road trip in. Um, a lot of you guys know that I've lived in this car, my little Yaris, on and off for the past eight years. I'm not right now, but I still have a lot of experience living in this car and driving around the country. And so I wanted to make a video specifically on this topic, like getting your car or your vehicle ready to live in or go on a long road trip in, and what renovations or so to do with your car. You know, a lot of people do physical renovations. A lot of people rip out the seats or they make, um, you know, like wooden drawers that are like attached to the car or they build things or whatever. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I have not changed the structure of my car at all. I did not rip out a seat. I did not build anything. I did not uh, change anything permanently at all. And so this video is kind of for the people who you might not want to rip out stuff. You might not want to build things. You might not want to change the structure of your vehicle, but you might want to just learn how you can take advantage of the space and what you could maybe add, you know, that's like temporary to your car to make it a little bit easier to live in. But before we get started, I really hope that you're subscribed to my channel and click that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload, which is about twice a week. And I hope that you follow me on Instagram too. It's just Katie Carney over there and I do more daily updates. But without further ado, let's get into this like car transformation video. So to preface, like to start this video off, I just want to remind you guys that if you're watching other videos, if you're watching my videos, if you're watching van life videos, it's so cool to see how different we all are and how different we all live in our vehicles. If you want to have a van that is completely renovated, like a lot of Instagrammers and stuff have now, that's so cool. Like they look really, really cool. Um, but I'm just here to always remind you that that is just what some people do. You don't need to do that. That is not the only only way to live on the road or the only way to adventure or the only way to live in a vehicle. You can live in a vehicle like I do. There's tons of different ways to do it, depending on your budget, your goals, just what you're interested in, uh, your priorities, all that kind of stuff. There are tons of different ways to do it. And so when you're watching a video like this, I hope that it gives you some ideas and maybe some like, oh, I never thought of that. Or, oh, you know what? She does that, but I don't want to do that. You know, just some ideas of what to do, what maybe you wouldn't want to do. Um, but these are not like you have to do this. If you're going to do car life. These are just the things that I like to do. And so any other videos or stuff that you watch, it's just, you know, what they like to do and what they might recommend and what worked for them. So I just wanted to kind of preface this video by saying we're all different and we're all doing things differently because we know what's best for ourselves and we know what we want to personally be doing, you know? Okay. I just turned the air on because it's, it's getting warm. It's getting warm. Um, but anyway, yeah. So I hope that if you are considering uh, moving into your car or if you're considering going on a road trip, that some of these, uh, uh, tips might help you and so most of these things I've talked about before um, but I just like the idea of having this video where like all of my ideas of changing your car are in one video so number one I have a list on my phone is it I thought it was right here Otis okay is this desk I've talked about this a thousand times but I really think that if you're going to live in a car or you are going to be on a long road trip to get this desk it's super thin and so it does kind of fit like between the seats or whatever and it hooks on to your steering wheel so let me show you it hooks like that onto your steering wheel and one side has like a cup holder and stuff so this would be more like the food side and then the other side is flatter um, that you could use for your computer you could use for your phone um, I really like it so I really like it to eat if I'm eating in the car I love this to eat um, but I also use it when I'm on the road to use my computer so whether I'm editing whether I'm on Netflix or whether I'm using Skillshare you guys know that I love Skillshare I've worked with them several times and if you haven't heard of them before Skillshare is an online learning platform and so it's really really cool because if you are interested in learning anything whether it's a hobby or something with work and if it's anything creative like photography videography entrepreneurship productivity anything like that Skillshare probably has a class for it and so there's one class that I'm currently interested in called hold on let me make sure I get the name right confidence for creatives by Eugenia Washington um, and it's literally how to just build your self-confidence a little bit and sometimes we need that and it's only like a half hour class and it's something that you could watch literally anywhere because you could watch on your phone, you could watch it on your computer. And so having that desk, you can be sitting here eating your lunch, watching a Skillshare class in your car. Um, and it's something that you can do on the road. You could still be learning, still be growing, still be educating your brain while you're on the road. So yeah, you guys know that I think Skillshare is a great way to learn something new or even to like brush up on something that you already know. Um, and so I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And if you guys are interested in checking out Skillshare, the first thousand people who click the link 
link in my description, will get a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership. And then after that, it's only around $10 a month. So again, I wanna thank Skillshare for giving me another reason to talk about this desk because I love it so much. <laughs> and there's just so many things. You could do arts and crafts on that desk. You can do sticker books on that desk. You can do finger painting on that desk. It's really like one of the purchases that I think is incredibly necessary when you're living into a car. And again, this is not a permanent modification. That's kind of what this video is kind of about. You know what I mean? Because there are going to be tons of videos that you can watch about permanent modifications in cars or in vans. And if that's what you want to do, that's awesome. But that's just not what I've ever wanted to do. And so uh, all these tips are going to be like temporary, non-permanent, changeable modifications. This desk, Everyone needs it. I'm just telling you, everyone needs it. Um, oh, and most of the stuff that I'm gonna talk about, I do have linked in my Amazon recommended link in the description, um, just to let you know. So that is in there. Okay, so this is another thing that I highly recommend you have. And again, this is maybe $20, $25. Um, this is a, this one is Duracell. There's tons of brands, but this is a Duracell power inverter. And so what this does is it plugs into the cigarette lighter in your car and it ends up being a like power outlet thing and so this one has a usb and a regular power outlet again this was maybe 25 dollars um and i love this when i'm on the road to charge my computer and to charge my camera battery and even depending on the wattage and voltage and all that you can even plug in um like a hair straightener and stuff in here um and so again check on that stuff you know before you do that um but I think this is like such a necessary thing to have in the car, just a little power inverter. And they're so small, like they don't take up a lot of room. Um, and I just keep this in my glove compartment. I have three glove compartments in this car. And so the next thing that I was going to say is just take advantage of all the space that you have. And so this again is a Toyota Yaris. It has a ton of little cubbies and compartments. So let me just show you them very quickly and kind of explain to you like how I organize them for me. So I have three glove compartments, one above the steering wheel, two over here. And so in this glove compartment, this one's messy, but I know what, what's all in here. Um, this, I have, um, you know, like lens cleaners and pens and, um, what is this called? Dental floss? Wow. <laughs> Tweezers. I have, this is a really loud button, like a self-defense button. I have um, tampons. I have hair ties. I have some quarters. This is almost like my nightstand kind of thing, you know? Um, so I have that. And then in this one, I have mostly napkins and hand sanitizers. And then I also have my little power inverter in there and a lava rock <laughs> from like, I don't, I honestly don't even know where from a very long time ago. Um, if you guys saw my last video, you know that I have a little rose that I keep in the car that I love. And then in here, this is more of the car stuff. So I have um, like a tire gauge, which is something I also recommend to have. And these are very, very inexpensive um, just to check the pressure on your tires. Um, and I just have some, I have my sunglasses in there and then also just some other car stuff. So like Jiffy Lube coupons and stuff like that. So I keep things that I want to be able to reach from my driver's seat. That's what I keep in the glove compartments like kind of like my everyday necessary things and then I also in the space between the seats down here I have like deodorant um, and more hand sanitizer and um, like a little dry shampoo so again just all like the everyday kind of stuff I like to have within reach okay so that's kind of it for the front seat so let's talk about the back seat okay so this is my lovely back seat this is my bed when i'm living in my car i sleep back here there's a ton of stuff back here you know but it is incredibly organized and it's all stuff that i'm really really happy that i was able to organize and have in the car so first let me sit okay so i have these over the seat organizers i have one on this side one on this side it came in a pack of two for like I don't know, $25 or something. Um, this one, I keep a sticker book back here. Um, and then I also, these are like my sunshades that I put over my windows when I'm sleeping. I have my little auto log. So I log, you know, when I get an oil change and stuff like that in there. I have some reusable bags. I have a lint roller. I have a like, it's a room spray kind of air and fabric spray. Um, I have some like gloves, some paper towels, stuff like that. And then in this one, I have some, where is the cap for that? I don't, there's supposed to be a cap on there. Huh, I wonder what happened. Um, but over on this side, I have some shower wipes. And then I also on this side, because when I'm sleeping in the car, my head goes on this side. And so I have a little fan hanging up. And then I also have this little, hold on, sorry. I also keep my jackets here. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, instead of trying to put those with the rest of my clothes. It was easier to keep them there. So just to show you guys, I'll move them a little bit, but I have a fan and then I have this thing that holds my phone that I just kind of hook over the seat and it holds my phone. So when I am falling asleep, I can, you know, watch YouTube or something on here. Um, and then down here, I just have a little basket for my shoes. One of the things that was like a game changer living in my car, you can see my shadow. Hi. <laughs> living in my car and going on road trips and stuff. One thing that was an absolute game changer was this little basket thing. Um, basket container, bucket thing, whatever, that holds all my food. I used to just have my food, my snacks, whatever, in a bag and it was so disorganized and I couldn't find anything and then things would get old and things would expire without me even knowing they were in there in the first place. And so I just got this from Amazon again maybe 20 bucks um, and I just keep all my snacks in here so I have some like little rice bars I have some peanut butter crackers I have a gluten allergy so all this stuff is gluten free um, I have some plantain chips I have a ton of tuna this is garbage <laughs> um, I have you know some Cheetos I have some nuts and then I have some utensils here I have some more right here um, and yeah this was just such a game changer to have all this organized like it's one of my favorite things about my car now honestly next I have my fan sprayer which enough said I've talked about this a thousand times it's a fan and it sprays water so when you're hot this is like the most helpful thing in the world and it's like twelve dollars so I always keep whenever I go shopping or go to the grocery store or whatever I always keep the plastic bags and I put them right here it's like right behind the driver's seat and I use them for trash normally so the only other thing back here that I would need to talk about is my sleeping bag you guys know that I highly recommend getting a zero degree sleeping bag um, because if you're traveling, you don't want to be in freezing cold weather without the proper, look at my hair in the wind. <laughs> you don't want to be in really cold weather without like the proper way to stay warm. And so this is a Kelty Cosmic. I got it like six years ago or something. Um, and so again, you know, people when they are, hold on, hold on, let me show you my face. You know, people when they are renovating a car or a van or something, they might have it where they have you know, like little heaters or something, um, or insulators or other things to keep them warm. But since I'm not doing any renovations on my car, um, having a zero degree sleeping bag, um, and then I also have some like hot hands things. They're like hot patches kind of that you can hold or like put on your body to keep yourself warm. Um, this is the way that I keep myself warm and I have like been completely fine every time that I've been in freezing weather. So now let me show you how I have renovated my trunk and then we'll be done. Okay, so if you watched one of my last videos, I showed you, um, you know, like I was organizing this a little bit, but I'm just gonna show you again quickly. So for me, this is kind of like my closet. Like my trunk is kind of my closet. And so these bigger bins that I got at Target or whatever um, are what I put my clothes in. So this is kind of my dresser. Um, and most of my clothes do fit into these two. And then these smaller uh, little organizer drawer things I got at Home Goods, I believe. And this is what I have to organize like my extra hair care and skin care and stuff. And so for example, Here's some extra, you know, hairspray and uh, curl cream and stuff like that in here. I probably need to go through this because I don't know if I need all this. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is how I organize that. So it's like, this is my dresser and this is like my vanity in my bathroom kind of thing. And so this is what works for me. And for years, I kept my clothes in a suitcase or in the back seat and it was just kind of a hassle to get to them. So once I got these drawers and put my clothes in these drawers, it was a game changer. It made it so much easier to get to my stuff obviously so I highly recommend having some sort of drawer system if that's possible um, and again some people do that in a permanent way and that's really cool but this you don't need to this is Target and Home Goods and I think these were maybe I don't I don't really remember maybe 15 each and probably around the same for these um, but I do recommend having some sort of system like that that's kind of it in terms of again like I for me have never seen the necessity of doing permanent changes in my car these small little things Things that I've purchased and I've added to my car have made a huge difference um, and they've made it easier and they have made it a little bit more comfortable and it's just been something that um, that you know a lot of this stuff has been a game changer for me over the years and years and years of living in my car because the first few years I don't have any of this um, and then when I started adding these drawers you know and I literally just got that food organizer like a few months ago all that kind of stuff has been a game changer. I know that it's going around lately the all the super expensive renovations and again they're really really cool but I just kind of want to be here to just let you 
guys know that there are other options that are still fun and still enjoyable um, and that still let you sleep in the car and still let you travel around. You know, there's tons of options. And so it's, it's up to you. It's up to you. Because sometimes when we see something really, really cool, we sometimes think that's the only way to do it. But that's just not true. You know, there's, there's a ton of ways to do it. So you might see how I live in my car and be like, yeah, that seems cool. And you might see how I live in my car and be like, ugh, I would never do that. And that's totally fine. We're all different. And so, you know, I am staying in an apartment right now. A lot of you guys know that. Um, but if slash when I ever either move back into my car or at least go on more road trips, um, this is the stuff that has really been helpful for me in my car. I need to turn my car back on. It's, it's so hot. It's so hot. Okay. Okay, but that is going to be it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it gave you, you know, any any ideas or any tips or any inspiration at all. Um, if there is anything that you've done to renovate your car, whether it's permanent or temporary, I don't know if there, I feel like there should be a better word than temporary for what I'm talking about. You know, just not permanent. <laughs> If there's anything that you've done, um, let me know in the comments because I would love to see it. And I know other people would like to see as well how other people have renovated their cars or their vehicles. So let me know in the comments. Um, and again, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you're subscribed and following me on Instagram. And I think that's gonna be it. Thanks again, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.